Hello, today we're going to talk about a technique that is called grounding. Grounding is using techniques, using strategies that help you focus on the physical world around you when you feel overwhelmed, stressed, or anxious. It can help you if you feel stressed to the point where you are forgetful, where you feel disconnected. Maybe you feel disconnected from your classroom, you feel disconnected from your coworkers, you feel disconnected from the world in general, um, or you're feeling that you're unable to face challenging situations. So most grounding techniques can be done exactly where you are, at your home, in your office, or your classroom, when you're driving down the road, when you're in line at the grocery store. So the first grounding technique that we're gonna do is physical grounding. So you can at this time feel free to uh, turn your camera off if you wish, to mute yourself, you can close your eyes. So as you are sitting or possibly standing, do a mental scan of your body. Observe your body without judgment. You may notice areas of tightness, maybe in your shoulders or another area of your body. Focus on that spot and stretch to help relieve that tension. Take note if there is any pain you are currently experiencing. Take note of other areas of your body. Notice your posture. You may be sitting erect or slumping. Your legs may be crossed or both feet may be on the floor. Focus on your breathing as we take a few deep breaths. Put your hand on your tummy and feel the air expand your belly as you breathe. When we start, focus on the breath coming in your nose when you inhale and your breath as it comes out of your mouth when you exhale. Let's start. Breathe in through your nose. Hold two, three, four, and slowly exhale through your mouth. Two more times. Breathe in, hold two, three, four, and exhale. Two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Think about how oxygen is feeling your lungs and rejuvenating your body. You might touch your forehead or the middle of your brows to see if they are scrunched. Or feel your hands. Take note if they are warm or cold. Rub your hands and feel your skin. Now let's focus on other physical aspects you are experiencing. Think about your clothing. Notice if your shirt or your dress is soft or stiff. Your clothing may feel loose or snug in different areas. Wiggle your toes and take note of how your toes feel in your shoes or socks. Place your hands together and press them against each other. You are present and aware. Press your feet into the floor and think of how this grounds you in your space, helping you to feel steady and secure. Now we are gonna do environmental grounding. We are gonna focus on what is around you. Look around you, take note of five things you see in the room. The room's lighting may be bright or dim. Your screen may be small or large. As you notice the five things, say and describe them out loud or in your mind. Think of their colors, size, shape, texture. Right now, I see a sheer black curtain draped over the window with open blinds in front of me. That is one thing. So think of the first thing that you see. Describe it out loud or in your mind. 
Now the second thing, describe it out loud or in your mind. Now look at the third thing. Describe it out loud or in your mind. Now find the fourth thing. Picture it in your mind. Describe it out loud or in your mind. Now find the fifth thing. Picture it in your mind. Describe it out loud or in your mind. Now think of four things you can feel. Right now, I feel the wood floor beneath my sock feet. It is smooth and firm. Think about your body in your chair, the temperature in the room. Your space may be cold or warm or just how you like it. You may feel the breeze from a vent or a fan. So take note of the first thing you feel. Describe it out loud or in your mind. Now think of the second thing you feel. Describe it out loud or in your mind. Think of the third thing you feel. Describing it out loud or in your mind. Think of the fourth thing you feel. Describe it out loud or in your mind. Now take note of the sounds you hear. You may hear the buzz of your computer, the whirring of an air conditioner, coworkers chatting in the background, the wind outside, music playing in the background. Take note of three things you hear in your space right now. Think about and describe the first thing you hear. You can say it out loud or in your mind. Now think of the second thing you hear Describing it out loud or in your mind. Now, think of the third thing you hear. Describing it to yourself out loud or in your mind. Think about what you smell. This time you will think of two things you smell. Take a deep breath in. Think of what smells you encounter. You may smell your lunch or coffee or an air freshener. You may smell your perfume or cologne or the laundry detergent on your clothing. Think of the first thing you smell, describing it out loud or in your mind. Now think of the second thing you smell. Describe it out loud or in your mind. Now think of one thing you can taste now. You may taste your morning coffee or what you had for lunch. Think about what it tastes like. Sweet, savory, or sour. Hot, cold, or lukewarm. Think about it in your mind. You may describe it out loud or in your mind.
This is the five, four, three, two, one environmental grounding technique. Now, I want you to find a small object in front of you. Something that you can hold in your hands. It may be a pen, glasses, a notebook. As you are holding that object, run your fingers over it and describe it in your mind. Think of how it feels, cold or warm, smooth or bumpy, hard or soft. Focus on every part of the object and notice any differences on how it feels, how it may sound. Take your time, explore every part of the object. Now we're gonna do grounding from a meaningful object. So look around the room. You may find something that's very meaningful to you. It may be a photo, a quote, an object of accomplishment, such as a certificate, a book. Consider the feeling you have when contemplating this object. You may feel joy, peace, success. So allow that feeling to fill you up with that emotion. You are valued, strong, and needed. Take a few moments to feel that. To think about that joy, the peace, success. There may be more than one meaningful object and it's hard to decide. You can pick another one and think about it. How does it make you feel? You may have a quote in front of you, a family photo, a picture of a pet. It can be helpful for you to have meaningful objects where you can see them when you're struggling, when you're feeling stressed, when you're feeling disconnected. You may think about a piece of jewelry that you're wearing that's meaningful to you. You may touch that jewelry and think about how it brings meaning to you. You can hold it in your hand. So as we are getting closer to the end, I encourage you to sit up straight in your chair or stand tall. You have what it takes to face the rest of the day. You are safe and secure. You are strong, confident, able. You are talented and needed. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Two, three, four, and exhale through your mouth. And do it again with me. In through your nose. Two, three, four, and out through your mouth. One more time. In through your nose. Two, three, four, and out through your mouth. May you face the rest of your day with confidence and assurance. Thank you for joining us today.